This video is brought to you by thepuzzler.com. All integers have divisors and multiples. But what exactly is a divisor? Or what about a multiple? Let's take a look. Divisors are the same as factors. If you don't know what factors are, just watch our video on them. You'll find a link to that video in the description below. A number is a divisor of another number if the division of the second number by the first one, the divisor, does not result in a remainder. Here's an example. Find the divisors of 10. Pause the video for more time on this question. The only numbers that 10 is divisible by without leaving any remainder are 1, 2, 5, and 10. Thus, the divisors of 10 are 1, 2, 5, and 10. Divisors have the same properties as factors. Let's now move on to multiples. Multiples. A number is a multiple of its divisors. For example, 7 is a divisor of 35, so 35 is a multiple of 7. Let's take a look at how to find the multiples of a number in general. Finding multiples. If we have an integer, we can find its multiples by multiplying it by any other integer, positive or negative. For example, some multiples of 5 are 5 times 1 equals 5, 5 times negative 1 equals negative 5, 5 times 0 equals 0, and 5 times 2 equals 10. Since there is an infinite number of integers, we have an infinite number of choices for numbers to multiply by. This means that each number has an infinite number of multiples. While there are infinite multiples, the number of divisors a number has is finite. Also, the divisor cannot be greater than the number itself. Think about why that makes sense. Let's now look at some problems using multiples and divisors and their explanations. Find all the multiples of the number 12. Pause the video if you need more time on this question. Since there is an infinite number of multiples, we can't list them all out. But if we let k equal all of the integers, then we can represent all of the multiples of 12 as 12 times k. Find all the divisors of 14. Pause the video for more time. We know that 1 times 14 is equal to 14, and that 2 times 7 is equal to 14. These are the, all the product pairs that are possible. So we have found all the positive divisors of 14, 1, 2, 7, and 14. Their negative counterparts are also a divisor of 14, because negative 1 times negative 14 is also equal to 14, and negative 2 times negative 7 is also equal to 14. So the complete list looks like this, negative 14, negative 7, negative 2, negative 1, 1, 2, 7, and 14 are all divisors of the number 14. Here's a question for you to solve on your own. Find all the multiples and divisors of the following numbers, 36, 16, 1, and finally 0. Write your answer in the comments to check if you were correct. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked this video or learned anything from it, let me know by subscribing or commenting below. For more awesome content, check out thepuzzler.com. 
You'll find amazing articles and free courses there. Thank you.